Cousin Jared's Concert, October 13th, 1998. Reminds me of school. <laughs> What's this song you're humming? Good King Wenceslas. I have my seen favorite one of Christmas these song. Since. What's it about? Well, it's about a king that brings food to a poor man. The king and his servant... Clem, we could use some help. Hey, Sarah, you take this and string them up over there. You knew Kenny before. It must be incredible to see him again. When I met him, well, he's so different now. Did he say anything about before? No. He won't talk about before I met him. Oh. Everything takes a little coaxing these days. Perfect. Now we just need the topper. We always had an angel on top of our tree. My family didn't celebrate Christmas, but I still love the decorations. What a funny little guy. Crazy. Why would they follow us this far? We can't be sure. It's been a week, man. We gotta be out of the woods. We can't be sure. They might be tracking us. Tracking? Who do you think they are? Ninjas? Clem, Luke said you saw some people in the valley. People? Way down there. How? She's got binoculars, genius. I saw lights. Which way did they go? Back into the woods. We cannot take any chances. We leave at dawn. But we're safe here for tonight, right? Clementine, you talked to that man Walter, right? What did he say? You didn't tell him anything about us, did you? We have to be careful. They could be hiding something. He mentioned someone else. Someone else? Who? His friend. His name is Matthew. Look, I don't care what that man said. We're staying here tonight. Just talk to the rest of them. They trust you. See what you can find out. I'm gonna go find Luke. Honey, I, I don't feel so good. Beck, what's wrong? I just need something to drink. You got it. I'll be right back. Are you okay? Just got a little dizzy. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I mean... How can anyone now? I think it's possible. How do you know? Well, I'm still here. I know it's gonna be hard. But at the same time, I already feel a little less lonely. Because I know that no matter what happens, I'll get to meet someone new. She's kicking. Wanna listen? That food smells good, huh? Can I? She's gonna be a runner. It 
it's not his. Well, how do you know? I just do. We were trying for so long, and, and then... If Alvin finds out, he'll kill me. I don't know what to do. I can't believe I'm asking a little girl for advice. But I guess nothing's weird anymore. I... I wouldn't say anything. There's my man. You all right, baby? I'm fine, you big dope. Just need to get some food in you. Thanks for staying with her, Clem. Can you go ask that Walter guy when we're gonna eat? I love you, silly bear. I hate it when you call me that. I know, but I mean it. I love you too. You get some rest now. She looks so cool. Beautiful. Uh, I used to love this time of year. You know, now that your friends are here, this place is starting to feel like a real home. Matthew and Walter are amazing people. Honestly, it's dangerous to be this kind, but they can't help it. Wait until you meet Matthew. He's a real character. The first time he met me, he called me Rita. Where is Matthew? Oh, he likes to go on long walks. He and Walter used to vacation here. He should be back soon. Clem, I wanted to ask you, does Kenny seem different to you? I didn't know him before, and, well, I'm curious. He seems like the same old Kenny to me. Oh, well, that's good. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. Always has to play the gentleman. But I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. You okay, man? Yeah, I'm just... I wish I hadn't pulled that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. Here you go, Clem. So, Clem, we were just talking. What's the deal with the kid? And what's his name? Luke? He in charge? You trust him? Kenny, please. Sarita, we don't know these folks. I like him. He's a good guy. Would you trust him with your life? I think so. That guy, Big Al, he said they were on the run. Some people are after them. Well, you don't have to worry about that no more. They'll go tomorrow and you can stay here. Absolutely. Honey, you stay with us as long as you want. She's staying for good. If that's what she wants. Of course she does. Right, Clem? Thank you. Of course. This is like a dream. Damn it, I am so happy right now. I, I can't even tell you. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's... it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell you. <laughs> so, it's Luke and Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? 
The hell is that? Yeah. Krista and I were going there. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, and cold-ass winter so the walkers get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clem? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please, don't fight. Gentlemen, please. There's no need for this. Now look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. Pass me that can, duck. <gasps> duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Hey, Clementine, would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Uh, I'm sorry about that. You know, I used to be a teacher, and I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon enough. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. You get your hands dirty, and you grease the wheels. Everything will not be fine. <sighs> Do you really think everyone can just get along? They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failure as a thinking animal. Steinbeck. Have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Right. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? You can talk to me, Clint. There's almost nothing you could tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just gonna check the windows round back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Please, do you have any food? Are you okay? I saw the house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bonnie. Walt, I don't know. You're just gonna let her in like that? It's fine, Kenny. We don't know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt. How much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I gotta get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you then. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. What about your people? We've got plenty. You stay put, I'll be right back.
I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I gotta talk for a second. Freak out. Listen, okay, I gotta tell you something. That guy on the bridge was Walter's friend. See, I knew something was off, so I asked Sarita about their friend. I know he was, for sure. Damn it. Damn it, Nick. I don't think Walter knows yet, so we have to keep this quiet. I mean, who knows what the hell he'd do if he found out. What if he finds out anyway? Well, then we're fucked. But, you know, we'll just... We'll just deal with it then. Now, do you, uh... You still have that knife? Because if it was Matthews and Walter sees it, he's gonna put two and two together. It's with the other weapons. Okay, well, go get rid of it. And I'll find Walter and run interference. Oh, and, uh, keep an eye out for Nick. I'm right here. What's up? Oh, uh, there's nothing, man. I just wanted to check and see if you're okay. You coming to tuck me in? Nothing. Hey, if there's something going on, I want to know. No, just go back to bed, Nick. I'm serious. You guys can talk to me. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. God damn it. Hey, Nick, shut the fuck up. I can't, man. I can't. Do not fucking blow it. Blow it? It's over. I have to tell him, Luke. What? No, you can Hey, Nick, you cannot do that. Are you fucking nuts? I gotta. I can't live with that on me. Okay, I hear you, but f I mean, fuck, man. Do you know what he's gonna do? Either way is risky. Exactly. Jesus. I can't handle this. Look, Clem, just go do that thing, all right? It's gone. like this knife. Gave it to Matthew when all of this started. I know he's dead. Who did it? Was it that, that kid? What's his name? Uh, Nick? Heard him talking earlier, something about shooting a man. I could see it. I could see it on his face. I wasn't sure then. But now... It was us. It was our fault. Jesus. I, um... I don't feel good. Nick shot him. Is Nick a good man? 
Or is he just like everyone else? He is. He's a good guy, Walter. He was always going out alone. I told him something like this would happen, but he wouldn't listen. No, Matt always knew best. What's going on? You need to tell him. Tell him what? What happened on the bridge? Tell me what you did. Just tell me, son. Tell me what happened. From a distance, it looked like anyone. I, 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 thought, I thought he was going to shoot my friends, and I, I shot Matthew. But it, 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 it happened real fast. I didn't, I didn't know if I hit him, but I did, and I didn't mean to. Do you know what you've done to me? Do you have any idea? I didn't mean to. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Walter. know how to do this? Great. I can do it. Okay, we'll watch your back. Nick, scan the trees with me. much ammunition. We gotta get back to the lodge. They're behind us!
get inside! Go! Howdy, folks. Where's Rebecca? Carver. It's nice to see you, too. Oh! Dad! Sarah! Inside. moving. Look at this place. Fucking place, Bonnie? Power and everything. A lot of windows, though. It's fucking huge. Bill's gonna hate it. Now the rest of them could be anywhere. Man, how the fuck are we gonna cover these guys and look for them, too? Johnny, cover that window. Listen, I'm only gonna ask you once. Where's Rebecca? Sarah, look at me. It's gonna be okay. Oh. Oh. Rebecca! No. Rebecca! Our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. I know you're out there. Oh. And Alvin, and Luke, and the girl. This is real simple. You want this over quick. You all play nice. And show your faces. Dad, my dad, please. He'll kill him. No, Alvin. We gotta go down there. I can't do that. Beck, the baby. You need a doctor. No. Where's Luke and Kenny? We have to help Carlos. Only way to help him is to do what the man says. What about Luke and Kenny? Look at those guns. If he starts shooting, and people are gonna die on both sides. Ah! Ah! Clem can sneak out. Find Luke. What the hell is she gonna do? And you heard him? Carver knows she's with us. Just stop! Don't hurt my dad, please! We're going down there. He'll kill you. Fuck you. Shoot him! Somebody just shoot him! Clem, go get help. He'll kill him, Beck. He'll do it anyway. You don't know that. I'll find Luke and Kenny. Stay here. God damn it. <laughs> oh, never did stop. listen. Hurry! Let's see if I can get your attention. Ah! No! 
That's for our man. Now, I didn't want to do this, but you ain't leaving me much choice. So here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna march another one of your friends out here, and I'm gonna put a bullet in the back of their head. Or you can give up now. Your choice. Motherfucker. Kenny, over there. surprised. I warned you. I warned you not to follow him. Look where he's led you. But you're safe now. We're going home. As a family. Alright, round him up. We're heading back to camp. <laughs> 